guys, so my name is Monica, and I'm doing a runaway robot. So, uh, how many of you guys have little brothers? Like, annoying little brothers. There we go, I see some. I have an annoying little brother. And what he did back when I was in middle school was he would always take my diary, right, I used to write in a diary, he'd take it, and then he'd just like read through it, and he'd tell my parents all my secrets. And that's why I had this idea, which is, to make a robot that would keep my diary and run away from my little brother. And so that's the concept, that's how um, my idea came into being for a runaway robot. So the first thing I tried was, it was kind of a lazy idea. I was like, uh, just stick with the old uh, robot and just add a sensor in the back or in the front. But actually, um, that wouldn't work. So, uh, and I wanted it to see more. So I made the brick flat instead. And then um, my second um, thing I had to do um, was start to program the robot. And what I wanted it to do was basically if it saw anything within 90 centimeters from it, it would turn and run away. Um, but the thing is that ultrasonic sensors are unreliable. So this kind of stood as a problem for me in the future. And so I tried again. I tried to do, um, tried to get 360 vision, but I realized that um, the sensors only see 60 degrees each. So what I had to do was I had to only have three sensors because the inputs are, there's only four inputs <coughs> on the brick. So now I only have 180 degree vision. Although I would love to have 360. Um, so I tried again, and then it ran in circles. It would just like turn and turn and turn. And I was like, "What's going on? Um, why? What's what's up with this?" But basically, it was because I only had three edge statements, um, and so I changed this by saying that it would always go forward, and it would only turn if it wasn't clear in the front. And if it wasn't clear in the front, it would look at the right sensor. And if the right sensor wasn't clear, then it would look on the left sensor. And then I tried again. And so this time, it couldn't sense the walls. And I was kind of confused by this um, because it, it seemed like, like 90, it didn't work with 90 centimeters. But what happened was that it, was, it had too many variables. And so I had to scratch this my reading thing and just stick with the set sensor ultrasonic and use that so that it would continue to work. Um, so then I had to figure out how to do the programming for the start and stop. I wanted to do um, a clap to turn it on and a clap to turn it off. But it didn't work out because although it would start, it wouldn't stop. And so um, I found that my clapping was <coughs> not consistent because my, it, my hands are I guess it's consistent. So what? So what I changed was that I did a touch sensor, which is that green button up there, and so it has an on-off um, boolean um, thing, and so that was like a lot better for me. Um, so basically, what happened was it, I would tap the top, it will go until it sees an object within 200 centimeters. I changed 90 to 200. And then it would check all the sensors, it would turn if it needed to, and then it would continue going. And um, it would stop when I press the green button. So this is what it looks like. Um, yeah. So, and I missed a little, uh, a lot of stuff. Um, sometimes it moves a little jerky-like. Um, I think it's, that's because my motors are, they have to turn pretty fast afterwards at, when they want to turn. And if I had time, I would try to keep the clap sensor. And I totally forgot about the diary thingy. So, <laughs> so that kind of sucked. And I would want to make it faster because it can't really run away from things. That you, yeah. So. I've been 
tried uh, legs yet, but let's see how this goes. Um, so I'm going to do this one. Oh, I don't know if it's going Thank you. 